Hello. Um, we're gonna um go more of my notes for cell biology and life science in a nutshell. Um, <clears throat> so um, we were learning about the um <clears throat> production of various molecules in the cell, such as proteins and lipids. This occurs on <clears throat> primarily on the endoplasmic reticulum. So there's the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, where proteins are produced. <clears throat> and then there's the smooth ER, where um, lipids and steroids are produced. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> production, again, occurs after... Um, on the rough ER, uh, on ribosomes... So the, the reason that it's called rough is because it the um, folds or the cisterne of the endoplasmic reticulum carries ribosomes, which are in charge of the protein, protein synthesis. And they do this off of an mRNA template, which comes out of the nucleus. The mRNA gets transcribed off the DNA um, chains excuse me, DNA um, strands, and um, each gene is transcribed into a chain of mRNA, which leaves the nucleus via the pores, nuclear pores of the membrane of the nucleus, comes out to the ribosomes, and proteins are made off of the mRNA chain um, with the help of a molecule called tra tra um, transfer RNA, uh, transfer RNA or tRNA, which bring amino acids <clears throat> to the um, to make a polypeptide chain out of the amino acids, um, aka making a protein. So, um, <clears throat> um, and this is coded by the mRNA chain. So, um, every three bases on the mRNA, which is also called the codon. The three bases um, is complementary to three bases on the tRNA called an anticodon. <clears throat> Based on the anticodon, a different amino acids are carried to um, the growing polypeptide chain. Uh, hence, a different um, protein is built based on the specific mRNA sequence. <clears throat> so that's that. So as a note, um, uh, so proteins are made on a rough ER, <clears throat> and then they're, um, all the molecules made on the ER um, are, are carried to specific destinations, either within the cell, um, <clears throat> either um, to various organelles of the cell, or they're sent to the cell membrane where <clears throat> they are transported out of the cell um, for export for the exterior. So, um, and this is uh, the organelle in charge of um, marking molecules for their specific destinations is called the Golgi apparatus. So we learned all this in the previous sections. So um, I, w I looked up Exactly, because um, the smoothie R produces lipids and steroids, so I wanted to get a little more information on what is exactly a steroid. <clears throat> so um, I googled it. <clears throat> so steroids are any of a large class of organic compounds <clears throat> with a characteristic molecular structure containing four rings of carbon atoms um, so the four rings consist of three six-membered, um, ring, ring, um, six carbon um, membered and one five carbon membered, uh, rings. So three and one, so four total rings. And then, uh, <clears throat> these, uh, that's the main, uh, structure. <clears throat> common to steroids. They include hormones, alkaloids, and vitamins. 
Steroids have two principal biological functions as important components of cell membranes which alter member, membrane fluidity and as single, signaling molecules, um, that's their function, signaling and membrane fluidity of cells. Um, hundreds of steroids are found in plants, animals, and fungi. All steroids are manufactured in cells from the sterols, lanosterol in animals and fungi, or cycloardenol in plants. Lanosterol and cycloardenol are derived from the cyclization of the triterpene squalene. So this is specifics about how the actual molecule is um, <clears throat> um, made. The steroid core structure is composed of 17 carbon atoms um, bonded in four fused rings, three six-member cyclohexane rings, so six carbons, rings A, B, and C in the first this illustration, and one five-membered cyclopentane ring, the D ring. Steroids vary by the functional groups attached to this four-ring core and by the oxidation state of the rings. Um, so oxygen, how it is, where it is located. Stero sterols are forms of steroids with the hydroxy group, <clears throat> so hydroxy is OH, um, group at position 3, so 3 is over here, and a skeleton derived from cholestane. Steroids can also be more radically modified, such as by changes to the ring structure, for example, cutting one of the rings, Cutting ring B, for example, produces psychosteroids, one of which is vitamin D3. Examples include <coughs> also <coughs> the lipid cholesterol, as well as the sex hormones, estradiol, and testosterone, and the anti-inflammatory drug dexamethasone. Okay. So those are some specifics um, which we're getting into. Animal steroids include compounds of vertebrate and sick insect origin, the latter including ectosteroids, um, such as ectodesterone, controlling molting in some species. So molting is when they come out of like a shell, an outer coating. In um, the in the repro excuse me, the development um, <clears throat> of organisms, vertebrate examples, ectodesteroids, dis such um, let's see, include excuse me, the steroid hormones and cholesterol. The latter is a structural component of cell membranes, helping um, so cholesterol determine the fluidity of cell membranes is a principal constituent of plaque implicating in, in um, atherosclerosis. Steroid hormones include uh, again sex hormones including um, which influence sex differences, support reproduction such as androgens, estrogens, progestogens also Corticosteroids, including most synthetic steroid drugs <clears throat> with natural product classes, and the glucocorticoids, regulating aspects of metabolism and immune function, and the mineral mineralocorticoids, helping maintain blood volume and control renal excretion of electrolytes. Anabolic steroids, natural and synthetic, in track with androgen receptors. Increasing muscle and bone synthesis. And the term steroids often refers to anabolic steroids in popular use. Plant steroids include steroidal alkaloids found in Solana, say the fistosterols, and the brassinosteroids, including several plant hormones. Um, so we'll continue in the next part. Thank you.